Hi friends, bon dia! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one of those that you guys seem to like it a lot with a brand new item. It's my handbag review of my latest Gucci Bamboo 1947 mini belt bag. So if you guys are wanting to purchase this, looking into this, this is like a brand new collection, you might want to watch this video first. Ready? Let's do this. You guys, there's so much happening in this bag all at once that that was the first thing that attracted me to it. It's a brand new, brand new collection. I typically am not someone super attracted to the canvas, but with the leather trim, I was like, this is so unique, uh, so beautiful. The bamboo closure in here, I was like, hooked. So what is this bag? <laughs> First of all, it is a three-in-one little belt bag. So it comes with three ways to wear, two straps, which is the mini little fabric, you know, the Gucci staple, the green and red. And then there's like a couple of hooks in here that can be linked into or looped into the belt, or it can be put through the loops on the mini bag. So you can actually wear just by itself like this. You can add the little straps to the belt and then have some extra like I don't know, like a little extra accessory in there. Or you can take off the bag and wear the belt on its own, which is fabulous, by the way. I wish that they were, they had the belts by themselves. I would probably get it too. I mean, it's really unique. It has the little other loop through and this is how it goes. Gorgeous belt, right? And then you can wear the little bag like so, just by itself. Or you can loop the, and I'll show you how it works. It has two little hooks in here through the loop. So you unhook it and then you put the loop through. And here you go. You have a little shoulder bag, which is barely a shoulder bag. On the website, it describes as a shoulder bag. Does it fit in your shoulder? Yes, it does. If you have you know, pretty thin arms, which my arms are pretty, pretty thin. I can squeeze it in there. Had I had a little more meat in my arms, I'm not sure. Not sure if it would have fit through. But you guys, it does look super cute as maybe like a wrist bag, you know, something like this or like to carry in your elbow. Very cool. Now, does this look seamless? Not really, in my opinion. It's a little bit bulky. I'll let you guys decide on that. To me, it's not like a seamless transition. Is it cute though? Very cute. Is it unique? Very unique. So it's all about what we're looking for in the bag. So essentially the bag is three accessories in one, which I thought, what a great deal. You can get three different looks in one handbag. Like the belt alone, I just think it's fabulous. However, it is a little bit of a spicy price tag, if I can say that, $2,500. Um, so to me, I wanted a bag that was absolutely fabulous for that price, uh, for that price point. And I, I'm not saying that this is not. <laughs> I think it's really, really, really cute and really unique. It does come in full leather, and I believe it's maybe like a tiny bit more, maybe $100 more. Brown leather, black leather, and then there's a combination of the canvas and the brown leather trim, which I thought it was more unique. So it does have the bamboo closure in here, like I've mentioned before, super cute detail, and the horse bid design on the belt. This is an antique um, silver tone metal, which is very different than the stuff I have. It's not super like brassy. I love that it's almost like a polished, not a polished, how do you say this? Um, polished is more shiny, right? This is not a shiny one. So I think it, it looks really cool. If you guys don't know this, I like mixing my, my metals too. Like I'm usually more of a gold girl, like most of my things are gold, but I like to pop in a little silver here and there just to break things up and make it the look a little more interesting rather than just gold, gold, gold. So I think this would look super 
fabulous. Now I'll show you guys what the belt looks like on me. I'm actually wearing a very plain bathing suit cover up that I can um, double up into a dress just because I wanted the belt to be kind of the center of attention and show you guys how it looks. So the loop, the other little loop goes through here. I just think this is so unique. I don't know if with time this stuff is going to start bending and then make a little, you know, how sometimes it happens. I don't want to do this right now. But if this is super cute like this, or you can wear it just about and then have the detail on the back. So cute, right? And I'll show you what the bag looks like in it too. Okay, so for the little baggie, it is, I'll show you inside, a cotton lining, which is Gucci's staple. It's like the same lining that all of the Gucci handbags have. It does have the factory um, tag right over here. So to make sure it's authentic, I usually get it in major retailers or the Gucci store, which this is where I got mine from. When you do get it from the Gucci store, you do get the little dust bag, which by the way, they have been so cute lately. I love this kind of like, it's not burlap, but it's like this like natural look to the, to the bag. And then it comes in the box, beautifully, beautifully wrapped. Comes in a big, bigger box. It has a little, you know, authenticity cards, thank you notes, Gucci booklets in all languages. Um, and the little stuffing, which Gucci recommends, but I personally recommend it too uh, for your designer bags, for you to store them with the tissue paper inside. That way it retains, the, the bag retains its shape. This is something that's valuable, so you might want to sell it eventually or pass it down to your daughter or whatever. So this is a way to kind of like keep things neat and polished and beautiful, you know, with the shape. So it does have a slide, um, room to slide a credit card or maybe a driver's license in here. It has the Gucci logo in here. I'm not sure you guys are going to be able to see it. This back here is the leather, the same leather from the trim, which the trim is done so beautifully, you guys. Like, it's really a gorgeous craftsmanship. Like, I'm very impressed, like, with the leather inside here, too. Just gorgeously done. Now, to the bad parts of it. As you can see, this is very, very small. I kind of want to get my phone to show you. Let me go back. I'll be right back. Okay, so for what fits inside, and this is where it got me very disappointed. My phone is the 13 Max. Um, you actually, any Max phones, I believe, because this is just slightly bigger than the 12 and 11 and so forth and so on. So if you do have the Max phone or something with a bigger screen, it does not fit, you guys. It just doesn't, like, at all. I try to even, like, fit, because it, it has a little opening on the sides in here. So if I go and squeeze it in here and squeeze it in there, okay, like this, really try hard, it, it almost fits, right? So here's me in my had trying to make sense of keeping this bag and still fitting my phone. So this is the only way that I can barely fit it. It still won't go down all the way because it has this, um, this little pieces here that, that are raised inside and yeah, it won't close. Plus it will like completely ruin the bag. So that's, I, I would never do that. So that's just the biggest thing for me. It's really important for my bags to fit in my phone, especially when the bag is um, as pricey as this is. This reminds me so much of the Soferino YSL that you guys, that was a very popular video. I'm gonna link it down here so you, you can take a look at it because I love the bag so much but it didn't fit my phone. And it was a pricey bag too. So I was just debating whether it was worth it to keep it or not. And the medium size, that was the small one. The medium size was way too much more. I think a thousand dollars more for the same 
bag essentially and I just didn't want to go um, that route just didn't want to pay that much money and I ended up and the majority of you were like don't keep it just wait for something you love and sure enough like two months later I returned the bag I was in New York walking around and then I found the one which was the YSL Kaya South or North South I'm also going to leave here the link for that video so you guys can check it out and that's been one of my most favorite bags it's kind of the same look but it's even prettier in my opinion it just sold out so fast unfortunately it's very hard to find but it was just gorgeous and I'm so glad I waited so this is kind of the same feelings that I'm having towards this little guy here I love the idea of it I really do I think it's just so fun I'm going to put it in the belt um, and show you on me what it looks like in case you're trying to make a decision now if not feeding your phone you know it's it's not a deal breaker for you if you don't really care if you you usually carry your phone in your hand anyway which I do I do too like I carry my phone in my hands the majority of time but I want to have the option of having my phone in my bag and not with me or you know on the table or whatever and I wouldn't have that option in here that's my main thing so I'm just trying to decide if this is worth keeping just for the looks of it because it's a brand new collection I do think this bag's gonna be a hit um, especially with the bamboo being back it's like something very trendy at Gucci right now there's like all of the bamboos I love the fact that it is so unique you guys like it's very very cute but then again it has the fact it is a bulky bag it's not a belt bag that it's that kind of goes seamlessly it's a very much of a statement bag um but here's what it looks like you can style multiple ways you can actually put it on the other side you can have it here I mean different things you can do very very cute and like I said I'm gonna add this one now so you guys can see what it looks like with the with the little fabric strap so the idea of it that's what I'm trying to say the idea of it it's very cool very unique very I don't know downtown New York girl but it's just not practical but then again is this supposed to be practical only you can answer that right if we're all um, really going for different things you know like we like things for different purposes maybe you're just looking for a statement piece for something that's super unique and um, just to have that cool effect in your wardrobe if that's the case then I absolutely think this is a keeper you know if you're just looking for that cool effect and not any practical uh, pra practical I'm trying to say a word and it's not coming out Practi practical practicability is that even a word <laughs> it's just not a practical item and that's what I'm trying to say so anyway you guys um, it's up to you to make the decision one thing another piece of information that I think it's really valuable and interesting in days like nowadays that it's um, we're all concerned about the environment and leathers and how things are made so the canvas material has a low environmental effect and then the cotton lining too so it's less leather per se so it's one of their the items that is more of like environmentally correct or has a low impact other than that I think that I mentioned everything else the silver buttons in here stitching is just like their Gucci beautiful stitching um, I mentioned the craftsmanship is absolutely gorgeous in this bag everywhere around it so definitely definitely a unique piece it is made in Italy you have all of the the Gucci in the Gucci belt it has all of the numbers in here the you know authenticity stamps anyway I don't know I don't know you guys I would love to hear your thoughts I really am dying to hear today is the last day that I have to make up the decision to make my mind whether I'm gonna keep this or not and at this point I'm leaning towards not keeping it and maybe repurchasing if I come down to it convince myself I just haven't I have had it for a week 
and I haven't pulled it out of the bag in here except now for to show you and obviously when it arrived. I do have a reel in here that I'll post um, unboxing if you're interested to see how the bag really comes. Um, the reel is here. But yeah, I just haven't had the desire to even try to take it out for a spin. It's just not, um, I don't know, it might fit my wallet. And that's about it. Anyway, do let me know what you guys think. Now on another note that I'm super excited, there's two more spring bags that I bought. They're lower budget. I believe they're under, one of them is under 500 and the other one's under six or six or seven hundred so more of like a bridge price point you know i love bags like this that i can wear a lot and you guys love it one of them is just amazing the other one is so spring ready so i'm pumped about them both stay tuned for more bag reviews to come this month of march maybe we'll roll, we'll roll one towards april too when it gets really warm here but yes that was it for today do let me know your thoughts about the bag i hope this was a truly and helpful review to show you guys my thoughts on the gucci bamboo 1947 mini belt bag and i'll see you next time um beijo ciao ciao